Hi, Miss Proctor Spanics group. So today we are reading some longer words. So I'm going to have a go at putting sound buttons on the words and I want you to say the sounds out loud with me. So we've got t, r, e, n, and the last one, ch, t, r, e, n, ch. That makes the word trench. So we've got the tr, e, n, ch, trench, a trench. That's like a big hole that's been dug at the side of something that people can climb in, a trench. Okay, this is a really long word. It's got two syllables in it, this word. Let's have a go at it. T, w, i, s, t. Let's have a go at saying those sounds first of all before I do any more. T, w, i, s, t. Twist, i, ng. Twist, i, ng. Twisting. Be twisting something. Twisting. Okay, and this one's got three squashed together sounds at the start. Let's say these sounds. S, t, r, e, t. S, t, r, that makes str, e, t, street, street. Okay, last one to do together. Let's say these sounds out loud. R, o, n. And the last one, ch. R -o -n -ch. Crunch. Okay, now you're going to have a go at reading some words and deciding when you've read the word if it's a zoo animal or a farm animal. So all of the words you've got to read are the names of animals and then you've got to decide if you're going to put it on a zoo or a farm. So you need to draw a line down your paper and write zoo on one side and farm on the other like I've got on the screen. Then you need to choose a word, read the word and then write it under the correct heading if it's a zoo animal or a farm animal. Now remember that animals that live in a zoo would be wild animals animals. So have a go at that and then head back to the website for the end of today's phonics.